hey guys welcome back welcome back to another video so today i'm going to be talking about the day when we get pregnant and i'm going to leave i'm a father and know and what took place that day basically yeah so before we get into the video guys please subscribe please if you are new here please subscribe and guys please like comment and share this video so let's get into the video right now yeah so me that's 17 year old live with me um the mother my father and basically my sister yes guys so the night when we plan to leave with me baby father as you know i was pregnant and so on and then somebody I live with them so guys the night my father um actually get miserable me and me to watch on watch tv we don't watch lifetime movie upon the tv right mm -hmm. so my mother was outside she was washing and so on outside i wash her clothes them me inside now, you know, me kind of feel uneasy and comfortable because I'm pregnant and it's like, say, uh, um, me two to three months pregnant, yeah, but my father never know. My mother had already found out that everything, so I'm pregnant and she actually knows that me did I go leave the night, yeah, she did know because she knows that my father, um, would have liked that, she knows, say, he might go angry, maybe he would have start cussing him something there, mm hmm. So, me and my father did a good good in you know, guys. We, 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 we were there happy together. Good good. Me and him in our house. My sister had outside with my mother. And as you all know, my sister three years younger than me. Mm, basically, two and a half. Mm -hmm. So, me, I'm mean, inside. I watch TV. Anyway, my father get up say I go buy something out of the shop. He leave to go buy something here. Yeah. So I start, I already planned for go away the night, you know, I start carry out my bag them, when I leave, I carry out my bag them, and put them outside, my mother just say, I feel just wait a little, but tell her say, I have to do this now, and so on. Anyways, my father come back from shop and go in the house, I still sit on the door to TV when he come, because I carry out the bag them and go in back already. So I still watch the TV when he come. So I get up and go outside when he did it now, come back in. And then my god side back again. So my father start to cuss and I say, you know, say, you love done, you love done in a yard too much because it's a, it's a, it's a big yard, yeah. So I say, you know, say, you love done in a yard too much. And me, I say, when well, I do, me need to do nothing. I just go outside two times and you start cuss me. And my sister out there, you know, I say nothing. And he start cuss and I say, any girl in my house and the pee word, the belly word, eh? she have to go come out. So I say, I did that, I said, I need to do nothing. I was 17 years old, I'm walking out of the yard two times and you cost me for what? Nothing at all. Nothing at all, no, guys. It cost me for nothing at all, basically. I need to do nothing. So my father was this angry man, miserable, love cause, and basically through me, I had the oldest daughter, I take out everything for me, I want to say. So because I know that, I never have a choice but to come out of my house before it starts to show so that him could have disgrace or embarrass me. And the night when he might cost me, the night when he might cost me, pity man was say, me already, P R E G N A N T. Pity man was say, me already. Mm hmm. And my same, the one that in him was any girl in there, and, for the, and that happened to her, she must come out. And him that was said already there, guys. My ear itch me. Him that was said already there. Basically, him don't know that. And me did it, me did it, me did it, me did it. My baby father already awaited for me. So me did just need to go get my things that me no one care for make him pick me up. And be drive him drive. So me could have put the things that me not for him care. So me did just want to take one other one taxi to go down to the town to put my things that me not for him care and go. My father did all cost me. He start all take it out by my mother. But him don't want to say that down there, you know, guys. Him just miserable, you know, so I come out of the house and go in there, yeah, too much, so much time and him suck me there. So him just miserable, miserable, miserable. And you know what I say? You know what I say, guys? 
me in my stress, me in my pain, me in my tears, me in me, me in all my uh, sad, mo sad mood. Me not feel good, me uncomfortable, me stress out, me tormented. Because you know me have that now and me have to go quit school and thing. And yet still, only thing, my father don't know where I go on and he did it to what me to write. He, he, he might provoke me to write. I can't tell anybody, you know. When I provoke people, it's a hell of a thing. Guys, it is a hell of a thing. You're not supposed to provoke people. Provocation is not a good thing. Definitely not a good thing. And in provoke me, provoke me, provoke me, provoke me, provoke me the night. Yet still, you don't know. One thing we don't know, guys, is that me clothes already packed and outside waiting on me to leave. So anyways, in go and make it nice and so on. So when everything cool down now or something, me just slip through the door, take up my bag them, stop one taxi when me reach on the road, go at night. Then me meet my baby father and I turn, put my things them in a film car and so on and them something there. And then me go home with him after eleven at the night to twelve. And the night my father call my phone. Crystal where you them say you run me. I said, I don't run you. What I do? I just did talk to you a while ago. I was like, no, you run me. Because Pity even knows him. say, any girl went down the P word, she must come out. So Pity even knows him. I already have that. So obviously, you run me. Because he said, any girl went down that, she must come out. No. So obviously, you run me. So I said to him, say, you run me. I said, say, any girl went in your house, I'm pregnant, she must come out. So you run me. Basically, that was a clue for him. I said, I'm pregnant. So Mr. Tim say, well, you say throw me pregnant. Me, me, that time me and my wife baby father bed sit down come reach and thing. Mm hmm And I say, You run me because me pregnant and you never know. And you say any girl in your house I'm pregnant, she must come out. So I tell him say, You run me. Mm-hmm. You run me basically, don't guys? Tell me in the comment section. If somebody said that to you, and you leave. Obviously, they're running because it happened to you, you know. So, obviously, they're running. So, guys, see that night? Leaving. I never want to leave my family, but me happy because, you see, if I did stay there, I know I say, um, me and my father would plant good. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying there, but we would, um, we would make it out. My father would embarrass me, and would I feel belittled, but I feel really. You know, I feel really hurt. So I want to be grateful for I didn't stay there. So guys, basically, me just tell you that story yeah, to make you understand what I went through when me did pregnant and I go leave my home. Oh, me basically leave there. It was a night, and guys, it was a Saturday night. Basically, it was a Saturday night. But what my father, what my father, not understand is that. You, you know if you cuss your daughter or your teenage daughter if it makes you feel hurt and embarrassed because we're a teenager i was 17 with the legal for have a boyfriend don't guys but the legal for have a boyfriend it wasn't like me that do nothing wrong you never see me i do nothing wrong you never see me with nobody but yet still i'm just miserable you know the miserable parents there yeah that was like my father Anyways, me tell him say me leave and so on because me pregnant and thing and me say all right then, all right, mm-hmm, and then me hang up the call. Me not go back down there until me belly um basically get huger until um around when me not the sixth month me go back go look. Any time me already get over it and I accept it because I no like say. Me in my presence now and he can tell me things or take it out by me. He could do that because I'm in my presence. So guys, sometimes you do something to a person. At the moment, you don't even know how them feel inside. I can't tell you. You say something to a person and them feel hurt. Them feel tormented. Them feel disgusted. And you don't know the pain inside. But yet still, you still to each other. You say things to your daughter no. A wrong thing that if you have a teenage daughter, you have to know how to treat a teenage daughter. You have to know what to say to her. Because you cannot drive her to her. 
grave and you don't even know that you don't even know mm, what if me never have no way to go and yet still in i'm also and master them something like that is mother feel bad well me and my father get along now and improve on me because actually i'm um, sister uh, me never in need of nothing from that from me get the p word eh? and think i'm all right so when i'm over that now i'm all right the disgrace where that gonna happen to me, it no worry about me because as me say, whenever in our presence we embarrass me. So we good like that now. But one thing more I bring cross to anybody we come across the video. I yeah. you are adult and you have a child, guys, treat a teenage child good. Don't tell them that if that happened to them, you know, I'm gonna make them come out and them I know us and them something because the end idea is your child at the end of the day are your responsibility to make sure you say your child is all right yeah you know for belly to the child and make the child feel because what we make mistake mm -hmm. all of us make mistake and yet still when we get our kids we make it look like say we never make a mistake we are their parents we must set example for them if you try and make a mistake you see with the child, if a teenager to make a mistake and don't happen to her, you, you, you help her through it, guys. That's what we are here for. That's what we parents are here for. Yeah, if you help our children through rough time, if you help them through the time when they need us. But some people don't know them something there. So, guys, I hope you do enjoy this video and I hope you do learn something from it. So, please subscribe, like share and comment on this video guys give me a little thumbs up thumbs it up guys if you are new here please may i beg you in jesus name click the subscribe button tell a friend for tell a friend share out the video put it by your whatsapp and so on guys help me get to 3k guys help me even pass 3k guys so i come on the way for 3k now and help me reach that thanks for watching guys i love you all so much thank you